Hello Internet, I am Xenon and welcome to another Let's Play episode. I'm here with uh, Cobalt this time and we're going to build a melon farm together so we can just hit a button get a whole bunch of melon falling down. Uh, it's not that useful as a food but it is good for potion ingredients so we get to it. I'm probably gonna just um, build it with him and speed that up and then um, I'll explain it in bits and pieces so yeah let's go. You probably want some spruce wood, don't you? Yeah. There you go. I brought some. Do 
So, um, as you guys can see here, we've got the first row set up now. So I uh, hit this button, the bottom row goes down first, and then one tick later, uh, I think it's two ticks later actually, the top row lowers down. That's all done with the torches, so we don't have to do any delay with repeaters. Uh, just because the two torches there add their own ticks of delay. And it's done that way so that we move the bottom row out of the way, the melons first, then it gives them room to fall straight down. And so far, we, from testing this out, we get um, pretty much 100% of the harvest. Every now and then, you lose a couple when the melons give out more than they normally do. So like they normally give out, say, four to five, and then occasionally they'll just give out seven. And then sometimes you might get some landing on the stalks. Yeah, um, for that, we'll put um, some glowstone over these melon stalks shortly. But the uh, main part of what makes this run so well is this RS null latch down here. So you can see we've got the input from the button that comes into this block here. So this is an RS null latch with a delayed reset. So this part here is the normal delay. Then, um, so that's 12 repeaters there. Then we've got another two here. And normally um, for like a 12 repeater delay RS null latch, it would be much shorter than what we've got here. But because here I've got torch on this block and then two redstone dust there and there, so I'll get rid of that one. And basically when this is powered, um, it turns off that torch, turns this one on, which powers this red put, uh, redstone dust. And then on a normal uh, RS null latch, when the signal goes round the repeaters and comes back down, that was when the output signal would turn off. But because I've got this redstone dust here, it draws power from this block when the uh, repeaters are powering it, so it stays powered for the whole time while these are unpowering as well. So it gives you basically double the length um, of the signal for half the amount of repeaters, which uh, saves a lot of redstone, so it's good to use in survival mode. Yeah, it's pretty um, simple and compact design. We get no crossover on the melon stalks, um, just because they're out in a straight line, so it's pretty much as close to 100% efficient as you can get. So yeah, um, we'll finish building it. We plan to do this four stacks high, so I'll show you what it's like once we get that.
Okay guys, so that's the melon farm in its bare bone state, so uh, you might have noticed we toggled downfall at one point in that, that was kind of just um, for this video and to reduce lag as well, so we don't normally do that, this is a survival server, so yeah, all that's left is to add stuff to make it look pretty, but as you can see it's not a full yield, but I'll hit this button you can see, whoa, we've got some leaks. <laughs> I reckon that's hit out of the redstone. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's what, we're going to have um, this row here on the others. That's alright. <laughs> we yeah, we can, um, not very much though. Oh yeah, not much. So the signal to those. Done. Yeah, we just missed a row of um, logs on half of them. And I think we need... Yeah, we missed out some glass as well to on top of this one. Yeah, we'll I'll put we'll put those in quickly and I'll just cut to when that's done so I can show you how it works properly. So yeah, back in a second. Uh so yeah, as you can see we've um added in a bit of glass and another row of wood. I always explain what the water is on each of these. The water behind here is to hydrate the melon. Uh the glowstones probably not needing quite that much but it's just to make sure they've all got light then this water block here is the one that pushes the melon out and that was the one that was leaking before because we were missing that block in the other rows so if we come around here hit the button bottom row moves down then the oh, pistons moves down then top one moves down pushes them all out there's a few sitting on stalks here and there from last one because we didn't have the blocks in the right spot but works pretty well. I need to move this half slab. But yeah. Not sure how much I just got, but that wasn't a full yield, so it hardly matters. I think um pretty sure it was about a whole stack for two rows before. When we tested this originally. Yeah, just about. So it should be about two stacks you get from this of melon. Which is fairly good. You can always build it taller if you want. It doesn't really have a heart limit apart from where the map ends. And yeah, it's uh, pretty efficient on repeaters since we're just using redstone torches all the way up and some dust. And the repeaters it uses, you can see right here. So you got 14 there, including those two, and then another one. So 15 repeaters in total and a lot of torches. So yeah, uh, hope you guys like the design. I can do a proper tutorial if you really want, but it's fairly basic, easy to make. So yeah. Um, I reckon we'll pretty it up and then we'll show you what the final product looks like. Alright, so how do you want to make it look? No idea. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've decided on a final design. We're leaving most of it open just because we like the look being able to see the pistons. Uh, I had a few fence posts. Cobalt was the one that got to uh, climb the whole way up. Uh, we got rid of a little water trench. Now you just come in here, stand in the light. Get your melons. There's the other side, so you can see the redstone torches going up. So yeah, it's got a uh, full yield at the moment, so you can see what that is. See the button. Stand here. Yeah, man. And that should be everything. So there you go two stacks and eight left over so it's usually around two stacks from memory and then the extra bit is just um, whether or not they give bonus melon or not. Yeah, you can look in at least at this level um, can't see any melons there can't really see the second level up but it's pretty good for efficiency and not wasting any melons there's one that's already grown again. Yeah um, hope you like it if anybody does want a more in-depth tutorial let me know I can knock one up and create it pretty easily so yeah, um, thanks for watching, see you next time.